Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good hey. evening. How are you guys, boys and girls? How are you this Monday? Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, Edward, Ana Xiomara, Rebecca, Vanessa, Elsie del Carmen. We have Elmer. Thank you. Baby, welcome. Oswaldo Hernandez, Camila, Gabriela Abigail, Carla Saraí, Karina Canales, Susana del Carmen, we have. Maria Jose, Jonathan, Carencio Mara, right? We mentioned, yes. Ivy um, Alfredo, Carolina Beltrán, who else we have? And Genesis is a big deal. Welcome, guys. How was your weekend? How did you spend it? Good, miss. You said it was good? Con gripe. Yes, again. Otra vez. Again, <laughs> I got the flu again. <laughs> They cough, so tomorrow I need to go to the doctor again. Let's see what medicine he gives me this time. <laughs> As the weather, right? Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, it's raining, so that affects a lot. So, but it's a pleasure to see you one more time, guys, to begin one more week, and we'll continue with a new section, our section four. In the one, we are going to see this topic. Did you have fun? That's the name of the lesson. And we will learn this. Our objective is by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. For example, at work, when you have a lot of activities to do at work, to check report, to work on a project, all that, imagine nobody likes that, right? What about? cook. Many people don't like to cook. So it's something that they hate to do. Let's check other examples. Top eight things people hate to do. So you really dislike, definitely. You don't like to do that. For example, stand in line. Nobody likes to stand in line, right? To be waiting, especially if you're at the bank. What about do laundry? Other of the things people hate to do. Travel to work, especially if you have to take the bus to work. And these days it's a chaos. Every day is a chaos with the traffic. Go traffic to meetings. No, yes, it's definitely, yes, that is true in Los Chorros. Actually, they began today, right? The construction, they began today. Yes. Ahora creo que iniciaron, ¿verdad? They began today. No, dentro de dos días inician. Oh, lo, lo, lo del sí. viaducto. Ajá. Ahorita todavía están con lo de los, los derrumbes. Todavía. Mm, okay. So they are preparing the Zoom to do that. Open the email. Well, the email, not necessarily just online, right? But maybe open letters, open cards. People send it to you. Clean the house. Do you like to clean the house, guys? No, it's All terrible. Right. Yes. It's terrible. You like it? <laughs> I like to do it, but if I play my favorite music, so I play my favorite music and I'm cleaning, so I, I get relaxed. <laughs> Entre más fuerte, mejor se limpia. <laughs> uh -huh. And very fast. <laughs> It's very fast. You do it. Yeah, me yes. too. I'm sorry? Me too. <laughs> you do it too? When you clean your house? Yes. You play yeah, music. Listen to music. All yes. volume. Ah, okay. With loud music, right? You With loud volume also. It's true. Yeah. I think it's like a type of therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Therapy, right? You can also do it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do motivation. something. Else. It's a motivation. I, I, exactly. Teacher. Uh -huh. I don't like clean the, the, the house, but like uh, however, house. however, uh, uh -huh. it's uh, satisfactory uh -huh. to see the results. Exactly. That is very true. Because imagine the environment that... is so beautiful when, uh -huh. when you Everything clean the house. Is clean. Correct. Everybody likes to be in a clean place. A todo mundo le gusta estar en un lugar limpio, right? 
So you say, I know I have to clean the house. But it's very good because you can watch a movie or eat something and be, you can relax because you are in a clean area. But you are eating something, imagine, or watching a movie and everything is a disaster around you. No, you don't enjoy it. No se disculpa igual, right? You don't enjoy it the same. So you need to be in a clean area. That's good, okay? What about working the yard? That's yes. also like a therapy, right? If you like the plants, you like to put them water. Arrancale las hojitas secas y todo eso. Es therapy. It's a therapy. Also, I have heard that people talk to the plants. People talk to the plants, right? Personas que dicen que les hablan a las plantas. They talk to them so they can grow beautiful. It's a therapy for you. Exercise. Do you like to do exercise? Yes. yes. You like it? I like, I like do exercise. I like to do exercise. I like room. You like it? I like. You like it too? I like, like room. It. All right, good. With music. Yes. <laughs> so it depends on the music, right? Now, mm -hmm. let's go ahead. 20, 21 uh -huh. kilo kilometers. Ah, one kilometer? No, 20. 21. 21. Yes. 21 kilometers. Yes. You can run, right? Or mm -hmm. also work. Yes. Listening to music, right? At the same time. It's another one. Mm -hmm. You can relax on it. So you don't yeah. concentrate on the exercise, but Correct. you concentrate on the music. And it's mm -hmm. good. It's very good for your health. The, the main is change the uh -huh. rate reason. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. that is changes correct. Right. They change it. it. Mm -hmm. That is good. Okay, let's go ahead then with our video. In this video, this is about vocabulary, about top eight things people have to do. Have to do, it means it's obligatory that you do. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we saw some examples. There, it says, do you hate to do these things? Odias hacer estas cosas? Do you hate to do these things? For example, if you ask, do you hate to stand in line? If your answer is affirmative, you can say, yes, I do. Or negative, no, I don't. I hate to travel by bus. Who hates to travel by bus? Miren bus. Uh-huh, yes, especially with the traffic or if you are not sitting, right? It's, it's not comfortable, like to, you go and standing in, right? Like that. So let's check here. Do you hate to do the laundry? Edgar, do you hate to do the laundry? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, you hate it? Why? Why do you hate to do the laundry? 
Eh, it's terrible for me, teacher, because it's a it's a a, a, a loss of time, uh -huh. loss of time, uh, unnecessary for me. Mm -hmm. But however, I I know that I have to do. Exactly. For example, for example, I hate do the dishes. I hate to do the dishes. To do, uh, I hate to do the dishes. To do the dishes. Uh -huh. But we know that we have to do it, right? Yes. So that is the thing. It's the, it's, it's the, worst, it's the worst thing uh, that uh, I can do. <laughs> Wash the dishes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And there are other things that people enjoy it, right? They enjoy to do those things. Thank you, Edward. What about you, Nevi? Do you hate to travel to work? Yes, I do. Yes, you do it. Do you travel by car or by bus? Do you go and drive. Uh huh. Uh, do you drive? I have to drive uh, by uh -huh. bus. Oh, okay. You travel by bus. By bus. By bus. That is a terrible thing, right? That for the traffic and we are not sitting, we have to go standing. And we have to wait also, standing, yes. okay? So you hate to do it. Ahora es preferible have... andar en bus. Ajá. Hoy es preferible el bus yes. que ir manejando. It's true because you cannot leave your car in a, any part, right? You say, okay, I'm going to put the car here and I walk. No, you are not going to find your car later. But the bus, okay, no problem. I can get off the bus. And I continue walking if it's possible, right? But by car, La gasoline is cara. exactly. The gasoline is very expensive. Yes, and yes definitely. Que, que solamente yes. se estresa el motorista y yo mejor me duermo. Aha, uh -huh. you can <laughs> sleep. You can sleep on the bus, and the responsibility is not yours, but with the car. And then when you arrive to the place, you have to find the parking lot. Right? Y luego encontrar parqueo. That's the thing, right? So, advantages and disadvantages. Ventajas y desventajas, right? So, advantages and disadvantages for that. Great, good one. What about you, Oswaldo? Do you hate to go to meetings? I hate the meeting. You hate meetings. You hate to go sí. to meetings. Why? Why do you hate to go to meetings? I don't have paciencia. Patience? Patient. Uh -huh. I don't have pension because I don't like the agglomeration of people. Ah, I don't like crowded places. Mm -hmm. I don't like crowded places. Uh -huh. That's true. Very good. And also it depending on the people, right? Because sometimes imagine that meetings at work. Normally yeah. your boss is there. Yes. Co-workers are there. So sometimes mm -hmm. it's not a good environment, right? And mm -hmm. you don't know, sometimes surprises happen in a meeting. But, but my friends, yes. <laughs> oh, with the friends it's very good, right? Because you know, ah, okay, I'm going to hang out. I'm going to relax with my yeah. friends. Talk about different things, enjoy different things. So that is good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ana Xiomara, what about you? Do you hate to do exercise or do you hate to exercise? I hate. I hate. I hate by bus. Ah, you hate to travel by bus. You hate to travel by bus. By bus, okay. You hate to travel by bus. Uh, yes, I think everybody does. <laughs> everybody hates that. Great. Rebecca Vanessa? Yes. Hello. Do you hate Hello. to exercise? Mm, I like it. You like it? Oh, you don't hate it. Yes. You like it. You enjoy it. Where do you exercise? At home, at the gym, at the park? Uh, no, at home. At home. Okay. You prefer it in that place. Great one. That's one. Well. Yes. Thank you. Latvia, what about you? Do you hate to work in the yard? So, so, <laughs> so, so, it depends, yeah. maybe. Sometimes it depends, right? 
on the area or also the time if it's in the morning in the in afternoon the morning in the morning right it's morning. preferable all right good what about if we say clean the house thank you Lazaro Lazaro no Camila Alessandra Hello. Do you hate to clean Hello. the house? Yes. You hate it? Why? Do Why? I... Why do you hate to clean the house? Very mm, <coughs> big. Oh, because the house is very big. That is one point. If the house is so small, there's not a problem because you can clean very fast. But when it's big, you have to clean a lot of rooms, right, in that area. That's true. Thank you. Gabriela and Gail. Gabriela? Yes, Miss. Yes, hello. Do you hate to open the mail? Uh, okay, good, good. But do you hate? Do you hate to open? Uh, no. And you have to read them? No, right? Because it's very practical. Mm -hmm. You just yeah. open it. Just sometimes there is a big email. Woo, there is a lot to read. Now, let's check here. Thank you, Gabby. Let's go ahead on the next part. We say now express like I hate to do something. But what about the obligations that we have? For example, I have to go to meetings every month. I hate it, but I have to because it's my responsibility, right? It's an obligation. Let's say another example. Denise. Denise, are you present? Yes. Present. Hello, Denise. Okay, tell us one thing that you have the obligation or responsibility to do. I have to. I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to open the mail. Ah, okay. To open the email, uh, the mail. All right, so let's write this. Thank you. Has to open the mail. Let's suppose that is every day. Thank you. Denise has to open the mail every day. <coughs> Sorry. Now, let's here use that as sister person. We need to change the phrase, right? It's not have to. It's has to because it's referring to she. Same case happen if it's he. For example, if you say, Carlos has to go to meetings. If it's for the subject, I, you, we, they, then you say, have to. But the person, it will be, has to. The base form of the verb is included. Now, let's check other thing. Kathy Esther, are you present? Yes, teacher. Yes. Give us an example, please. Saying, I have to. Obligation that you have. I have to work in the yard. All right, that's good. I have to work in the yard. So it's like your responsibility, right? It's your obligation. Tengo que trabajar. Tengo que reunirme. Tengo que ir. So it's something that is a strong necessity or an obligation that you got. Thank you. <clears throat> Wendy? Hello. Hello. Give us another example, please. An obligation that you have. Um, I have <laughs> to laundry. I have to? Laundry. All right. I have to do? To do laundry. laundry. That's all right. You know, there's something we don't like very much. But it's our obligation to do it. I have to do laundry. 
All right, now we are going to read them. Álvaro Canales, are you present? Álvaro? Yes, teacher. Hello, Álvaro. We are going to read them. Read the first one, please. I have two. I have two. Mm -hmm. It goes to meeting. Go to meetings? Every month. Every month. I? I hate. I hate, I hate it. it. That's I right. It. Very good. Thank you. Carla Saray? Present teacher. Eh, ¿Me puede yes. decir la pregunta, please? Eh, I need you to repeat this one, please. Denise. Ok. Eh, solo que no veo bien la pantalla, permita, ahorita. Denise has to open the mail every day. The mail every day. The mail every day. Thank you so much. That's a good one. Yes. Karina. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Read this one, please. I have to. I have to work in the yard. In the yard. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Jonathan. Yes, teacher. All right. Read the last one, please. I have okay. to. I have to do laundry. That is correct. Nice one. Okay. Thank you. Question about this? Miss. Yes. En el caso de Denise, podríamos sustituir por, por she, ella. Exactly. Yes. Just that if you're saying like a, Denise is like the specific name, right? Uh-huh. And she substitute, correct? Yes. You use she in the case that you know who you're talking about. Ya utilizamos un she o cualquier sujeto pronombre en el caso de que ya sepamos de quién hablamos. Hacer más, eh, o sea, entonces se le coloca el nombre para ser más específico. Exacto. Pero si ya seguimos hablando de la misma persona, ya no es necesario ir como repitiendo. Y Denise tiene que hacer ah, esto. Uh -huh. Y tiene que hacer esto. Mira, uh -huh. you can substitute she. She. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. You're very welcome. Any other question? All right, let's go ahead on the next part. Now, we're going to see about our simple past. Let's see our objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Well, we know that the simple past we are expressing past actions already. So we finish those actions. And we mentioned that we have two types of verb, regular and irregular. The regular verbs are the ones that when you transform them in the past, you include ed to the base form of the verb. For example, this is the infinitive form, right? The infinitive form of the verb is the base form. For example, play, you transform in the past, you use ed, played. Like, liked. Cry, cried. Stop, stopped. These are just interditory verbs, but we have others. I have another list. Regular verbs. We have the present, that is the base form of the verb, and the simple past. Accept, accepted. Agree, agreed. Ask, asked. Believe, believed. Hold, hold. Close, closed. Decide, decided. Discuss, discussed. End, ended. Feel, filled. Help, helped. Invite, invited. Talk, talked. Listen, listened. Move, moved. Need, needed. Play, played. Walk, walked. Do you have a new verb here in the lists? In my case, agree. Agree. Agree is, for example, if I tell you, hey, guys, it's a good idea 
to go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. And you say, I agree. But then says, Rebecca says, no, I don't agree. Gabriela says, no I agree. I'm sorry? Es como estar un de acuerdo. Exactly. That is the meaning of agree. Estar de acuerdo. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. What about believe? What is believe? Creer. Creer. Exactly. That is correct. Let me see another one. The rest are common verbs. Feel. Sentir. Mm. That is different. Encontrar. That is find. Llenar. Llenar, exactly. That is feel. Llenar, rellenar. So that is feel. Let's check here the structure that we have. Me puede retroceder, por Sure, yes. The question is... Let me... Yes, tell me. En el caso de... ¿Cómo voy a saber... Cuando colocarle ed, cuando colocarle solamente la d, bueno, ahí asumo que uh -huh. le vamos a colocar solamente la d porque ya está la e anteriormente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y solamente se le coloca la d, pero tengo la duda en, en la, cuando encuentro una p, porque se hace uh -huh. doble p, uh -huh. pero en What? algunos, no en todos, porque tengo a Gil, no se le agrega doble p. Phil. No, Gil. Oh, help. Oh, help. 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 No, Ahí no, agregamos, no agregamos una doble P. Exactly. Pero si tengo, por ejemplo, <laughs> shop, en shopping, mm -hmm. en shopper, tengo que, comprando, compré, perdón, tengo yes. que agregar la doble P. It's because of the rule that we follow. For example, let me write it here. Let me put you here one. This is the rule that we are going to follow. When you have a verb, let's write it here. Like here. If I say, I stopped the car. What is the verb? Stop. Stop. All right. Okay. The base form of the verb is only this part, right? Stopped. Right? It will be with the simple past. But you have the base form that is only stopped. The last letter of the base form is the letter P. But we follow like a consonant, vowel consonant. Es la regla que aplica consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So what happens with the last letter? You need to duplicate the last letter. That's why it happened. Stop is going to be stopped. Pero las últimas tres letras de ese verbo deben de cumplir con esa regla. Consonante, vocal consonante, y se tiene que duplicar la última consonante. That's why is that you have the verb shop. Shop. What are the three letters? We have the H O P. Consonante, vocal consonante. So you need to duplicate. You have shop. But in the case of the other one that you mentioned. Es this one, help. Help no aplica en la regla porque sus últimas tres letras va consonante, perdón, vocal, consonante, consonante. Ajá. Uh -huh. No aplica. Es, uh -huh. Tiene que aplicar la regla. Le comprendo. Entonces uh -huh. sería, sería, esa es una regla que no tiene excepciones. Ah, it has exceptions. Tiene excepciones solo en las últimas letras del alfabeto. Por ejemplo, W, X, Y, Z. Esas no se duplican. Pero todas las que llevan consonante, vocal consonante, siempre le vamos a duplicar la, la última letra. La última sí. consonante. La última consonante, correcto. Y le agregamos la ED. ED. 
Thank you, Miss. All right. You're welcome. Uh -huh. it's, it's a rule. Oswaldo, do you have a question? Es más fácil interpretar a la compañera que los verbos regulares se les agrega el ED y a los otros que cambian la estructura que no es ED porque son verbos irregulares. So no ED. They don't have ED. They have a different manner. Exactly. Tienen otra forma de, de estructurarles. De hecho, hay unos que ni siquiera cambian su forma al transformarlos a, al pasado. En cambio, esto sí. De acuerdo a la regla que tiene, ¿verdad? Si termina, aplica con consonante, vocal consonante, entonces hay que duplicarla. Pero ED, como mencionaba Oswaldo, solo va en los regulares. Irregulares cambian su forma. They need to change the form. And there is no like a specific rule that it says, ah, okay, this verb ends in a consonant is regular or irregular. No hay una regla específica que nos diga a ah, este verbo como termina en consonante o en vocal, ah, entonces es regular o es irregular la única manera es estudiarlos porque hay unos que varían ¿Es it clear? Yes. Tell me, tell me Susana I have a question but in this case I have a question with the final sound. Ah, okay. For example, um, when the bar um, um, ending with, for example, and and the, the, ed. Ed. All is depending on the termination of the letter. For example, here. And sin letter T, que termina en, en una letra T, has to be like accepted. Suena como una D al final. Accepted. Ted. Agree, agreed. Ahora, si termina en una K o en una P, como en el caso de ask and help, estos van a sonar como una T al final en el pasado. Ask, asked. Help, helped. This one is different. I believe, believed. Talk, it, the final letter is letter K. So the sound in the past is like a T. Suena como una T al final. Also the verb work. En el caso del verbo work, termina uno con una K. Su sonido en el pasado debe de ser como una T. Work, worked. It's like, like this one. If you say, I worked, no suena como una D, sino como una T, ya que la terminación del verbo es en una K. Entonces, I worked, you worked, we worked, they worked, he worked, she worked, it worked. So it depends on the final letter. Todo depende de la de la última palabra que tengamos en el verbo. Por ejemplo, acá, en, de, en el caso de call, you say called. No se pronuncia como te. Cult, no. Cold. I called my family. Close, closed. D. Suena una T, una, una D. Pero un poco bien similar a la T, pero bien marcada. Closed. Decide, decided. Discuss. Discussed and ended. So it depends on the letter, the final letter that you have. Now, in the next oh, case, uh huh. Sorry. Thank you, teacher, because uh, as I am. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Yeah, de hecho, más adelante vamos a ver ahí algunos de los de los sonidos que aplican dependiendo del verbo que, que sea, ¿verdad? Y la última letra que sea. Now, we have these ones are only some examples of the verbs, but we also have the affirmative, right? As we were reading, simple past tense. We have the affirmative, we have the negative, and the question form. We read the affirmative. In the affirmative, we have subject and the verb in the past. In the negative, we need a subject, we need auxiliary, 
It's correct to use a contraction, but also you can use did not as in a complete manner, right? Didn't work. I didn't work. You didn't work. We didn't work. They didn't work. She, uh, he didn't work. She didn't work. It didn't work. Now, in the question manner, you need to change the position of the auxiliary and the subject. So you have, did I work? Did you work? Did we work? Did they work? Did he work? Did she work? Did it work? So what is the difference here between affirmative, negative, and question? Look at that in the affirmative. You don't have auxiliary. Why? Because the verb is in the past. In the negative, it's necessary to include auxiliary. But what is the form of the verb in the negative? Base. Exactly. Why base form? Because you have auxiliary. That's why it's an auxiliary. Helps the verb and helps the sentence to transform in the past. What happens in the form of the verb in the question? What is the form of the verb? Base form. Base form, right? That is correct. Why? Because you have the, also the auxiliary. So don't use the verb in past if you have an auxiliary already. Question about the structure? We are going to see examples too about this. Entonces el auxiliar siempre va a ser el mismo, pero la posición va a cambiar. Tanto Ajá. en el negativo, agregamos la contracción, y en la pregunta va you antes, antes Ajá. del pronombre. Exactly. As in all of the questions, como en todas las preguntas de todos los tiempos, siempre va a ir auxiliar antes del sujeto. So cambiamos de, de posición. You get auxiliary, subject, and the verb in the base form. And in the affirmative, you don't need it because you have the verb in the past already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y en el negativo ya no se, ya no se le coloca ed. That is correct no? because mm -hmm. you have auxiliary. Porque lleva la ajá, correcto. Mm -hmm. You have auxiliary. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Now let's watch a video. We have more examples here. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. 
S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, we saw some more examples there and the explanation of the formula. Before continuing, we are going to pass the list, guys. So let me know that you are present, please.
Okay, let's begin with Álvaro. Álvaro Mauricio. Álvaro Mauricio. Ana Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you, Ana. Brenda Rachel. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Camila Alessandra. Camila. Present. Thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. Clara Judith. Present. Thank you. Denise Rosalia. Denise. Present. Thank you, Denise. Edgardo. Present. Thank you so much. Edgardo Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Edgard. Elmer Giovanni. Present. Thank you, Elmer. Elsie del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. I'm here. Thank you. Genesis Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jaime Alfredo. Jaime Alfredo. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Xiomara. Present me. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Karina Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Elizabeth. Present Miss. Thank you. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you. Katy Esther. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro Alberto. Present Miss. Thank you, Lázaro. Ledvia Eloida. Ledvia Eloida. Present teacher. Thank you, María José. María José. Present. Thank you, Nevi. Nevi Solina. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Nevi. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Thank you, Rebeca Vanessa. Rebeca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Remember. Thank you, Rodrigo Alexis. Rodrigo Alexis. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wendy Graciela. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Jedmi Wendy Let. Jedmi Wendy Let. Somebody that I didn't mention. Alguien que no mencioné. A mí sí me mencionó, teacher, pero se me salió a la hora de responder. Ajá, Álvaro, right, ya se recordaba que lo había visto ahí en línea. Thank you, Álvaro. You are here. You are ready here. Thank you so much. What about Rodrigo? Rodrigo is not present, right? Okay. Okay. Rodrigo escribió en el grupo de WhatsApp. Um, okay, thank you. Let's move up then with the explanation. You can see it, right? You can see the presentation? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. We have about the grammar. It was saying that the simple past statements with the regular verbs. So if they are regular, it's because in the past you include ed. That is regular form. Now let's check. We have I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. So didn't is the contraction that is equals to did not. So it's optional. You can use complete or a contraction. And in the spelling is the form how we write it, right? To transform in the past. To watch is the base form. You include ED. Exercise, 
as it finishes in letter E, the base form, you only include the D. Exercised. Study, it finishes in letter Y, you need to modify I, E, D, studied. In the case of a stay, stayed. Only include the ED. Shop. We have the rule, like you aplica la regla, right? Because H O P, consonant, vowel, consonant. So what happens in the past? Duplicate the last consonant. That's why it's shopped. Now that is the uh, structure that we have. But let's have some other examples. Original examples that you can give. We are going to erase these ones and you provide yours. Okay, so as the structure mentions, you need to use in the affirmative subject, the verb in the simple past, complement. We have the verb held, helped, invite, invited, Talk, talked, listen, listened. Example, I helped my mother in the kitchen yesterday. Let's provide other examples. These ones are affirmatives. Maria Jose, can you help us please? Select another verb. Maria Jose? Okay, exactly. Select another verb here. It can be like invite, talk, listen. Uh, it can be, for example, my friend invited me to the party. Examples like that. I invited. I invited. I invited my sister. Okay. Invited my sister. Yes. Uh huh. To yes, the party, yes. to the beach, to my house. In the park. To the park? Or to go yes. to the park? I invited my sister to go to the park. So the subject is I. The verb, invited. And then you have a compliment. Nice. Thank you. That's good. Rebecca, another example with a different verb. I listened. Mm -hmm. Listened? Listened uh, to? Audiobook. Ah, okay. I listened to the audiobook. Right. Very good. Now, notice here we do it in the third person. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca listened to the audiobook. That's cool. Navi, continue. She take, take. She. Oh, she. talk. She, okay. She, she talked. Talk. Good. Uh, talked about music, talked about movies, food. Talked about movie today. Okay, about movies today. She talked about, remember that talked about, that means hablar acerca de, right? So you need this preposition. Talked about movies today. That's good. That would be affirmative manner. Now, what about if we do the negative? In the negative form, the formula is subject, didn't, if you use contraction, right? But also it can be did not. Plus the verb in the present or the base form or the infinitive form. Why? Because you have auxiliary. Then you have a complement. So let's use this one. We have an example. Josh did not or didn't move to California. Give us another example. Edgar. I didn't play it, uh, with my nephew on Saturday. Okay. I didn't. Play with my nephew on Saturday, right? 
Right. Thank you. You got on Saturday. So I didn't play with my nephew on Saturday. Very good. That's nice. Great. Thanks. Let's continue. Let's see. Latvia, give us another one. Choose another verb. My mother, I didn't walk. My mother didn't? Mm -hmm. Walk. Didn't, didn't walk? Walk. Eso. <laughs> Good. Exactly. <laughs> the park. In the park. Okay. Nice. In the park. Really nice. My mother didn't walk in the park. Very good. Thank you. Elsie, continue, please. I didn't talk with my parents mm -hmm. last weekend. Didn't talk. Try to use a talk. different a Talk. different one. Just a different verb. Because here we have talk. Oh. Let's practice this. Uh, so it can be need, move. Play, play. I didn't play basketball. Just a different one. A different verb. You can use In, help. Uh, or a different verb. Didn't help. Okay, you can use help. Didn't help. Uh to to clean the house. Ah, okay. I didn't help, uh, for example, my parents. My parents to clean the house. The house, excellent, Thanks. very good. Thank you, Elsie, that's nice. Elsie didn't help, and here a sister person, didn't help her parents to clean the house. That's good, nice. Carla, Sarai. Um, my, my friend, Mm -hmm. um, Movid, mov, Movid, creo que se se lee, ¿no? Mm -hmm. But you need to say the negative. Didn't. Mm -hmm. You need to use negative. Didn't move. Didn't move to. As you move to a place, right? It says mudarse a. Didn't move to. To. Um, in a, Maybe um, to, to the city or. Um, to Santa Ana, to Aguachapán, different uh, place. Uh, eh, Jujutla. <laughs> es un lugar cerca por donde yo vivo. Jujutla. Yes. Ah, okay. Where is that? Is that in San Salvador or where? Eh, pertenece a Aguachapán. Ah, in Aguachapán, yes. Ah, okay. So that's Jujutla. Interesting name. <laughs> Good. Thank you. So my friend didn't move to Jujutla, right? Maybe he moved to a different place. That's great. Good one. Let's see another one. Alvaro, can you give us another one? Alvaro, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Give us another example, please. You can use another verb. Well, we have another one here. You can select from here. Close, desire, discuss, ended. Um, the person. I'm sorry. In the past. Past. But remember, you need to use negative. Uh, in negative. Mm -hmm. Because you use auxiliary. Like here, say my friend didn't, and you need to select a verb. A verb in the base form because you have auxiliary. Podría regresar la, la imagen anterior, por favor. Yes. De captura. This one? Yes. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, Alvaro, what is the verb? Um, help. Help. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. Say it in negative. I. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't. Help. Mm -hmm. In my in my homework. Ah, okay. I didn't help to do. My homework. 
That's all right. Okay. Then we have a negative manner. Good one. Okay. Now we're going to repeat them. Let's begin. Wendy. Let's repeat this one, please. I helped. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. I helped. I helped my mother in the kitchen yesterday. That's good. Let's pronounce this word. Helped. Suena como una T al final. I helped. I helped. 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 That's good. Nice one. Thank you. Clara, you did. Continue, please. I invited. I invited my sister to go to the park. Great one. Thank you. Elmer Giovanni. Elmer, are you there? No? Let me continue, please. Rebecca. Rebecca listened to the audio audio book. Audio book, that's correct. Thank you. Carla Saray. She she talked talk. 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 ¿Cómo es? Talk. Suena como una, una T al final. Talk. She talk. 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 Like, she like about about movie today. Movies? Movies? movies today. Today, that's good one. Thank you, Gabriela. Now let's see the negatives. Josh. Josh didn't mm -hmm. move move, move oh. to California. To California. Right? To California. Thanks, Camila. To California. Very good, Gabby. Thank you. Camila, the next one, please. I did play. I didn't play. I didn't play with me. My. My, my new. Nephew. Nephew on Saturday. 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 Great one. Thank you. Lazaro. Lazaro? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello. My mother uh -huh. didn't walk in didn't? the park. Didn't? My mother didn't walk, walk in the park. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. Right one. Thank you. Kathy Esther? Elsie didn't help her parents to clean the house. Very good. Thank you. That's nice. Continue. Karina, please. Karina Canales. My friend didn't move. Move. move to... Didn't move? Move. Move to Ucutla. Very good. Thank you. Jaime Alfredo. Jaime Alfredo, are you present? Brenda? Hi, Brenda. Let's repeat this one, please. I didn't. Help to do my homework. That's good. I didn't help to do my homework. Very good job, guys. Nice. Okay. Questions. We have affirmative and negatives. Tomorrow, we're going to practice the conversation that we have, including the simple past and with the things that people uh -huh. hate to do. Yes? Okay, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful Thank night. You. Sweet good dreams. Night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good See you, you tomorrow. Good good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good, good night. night. Good night, dreams. teacher. Thank you so much. The same to you. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you.